Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show Mott, and uh, I want to talk about the Olympics. But before, before we jump in, thank you to our continued following and subscriber, followers and subscribers. Please, please be sure to share these, this video. Comment on it. The comments very, are very important to us. The more you comment, the more that pushes our, our videos to the algorithms, and, and so we greatly appreciate it. Do, do comment, positive or negative. I want to hear what you have to say. But thank you for your continued support of this channel. The 100 meter sprints. I, I, there's nothing more of, of the Olympic, the, of all the Olympic events, the Olympic events that I enjoy the most are track, are track and field. And the, 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 the four events, really the five events that I love the most are six now, um, are the sprints, the, the 100, the 200. The four by one hundred, the four hundred. I like the four hundred is okay. The four by four is fun. The hundred hurdle, the hundred ten hurdles, and of course the the hurdles that Sydney McLaughlin of the Vroni are, are in. Because every time you watch her run, you, there's a possibility you may see a world record. She's so damn incredible. It's it's unbelievable watching her. But let's jump on this Noah Lyles and Shakari Richardson weekend. Got to say, I'm I'm tremendously disappointed um, in the in 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 Shakari Richardson. Not I'm not disappointed in her as a person, but disappointed in the result. I really thought she was going to win this damn thing. Like I, I said, it when they, when she won trials, she looked like she was on a business trip. She looked focused, um, but I don't I don't know. She she looked okay in in, in the um, in the prelim. Um, had the trouble apparently getting into the arena, into the into the stadium or what have you, before the semi. But she did compete. She did do fine. She advanced to the finals. In that same situation, Shelly Shelly Fraser Price did not compete. Um, she apparently scratched because of an injury. Even though folks are trying to push a narrative that it's because she didn't get into the building fast enough and she couldn't she couldn't stretch out or, or whatever it is. Shakari Rich Shakari was with her the was was with her and she managed to get in. So I, I it, people can complain about whatever they want. She didn't compete, but I gotta tell you the final. She just got a terrible start, and I'm wondering they ran that race in the rain or it looked like it had just rained. I don't know if that has a major impact on the on the psyche of a runner, a sprinter primarily, like if they're afraid that they're gonna potentially slip. Um, but her start was so bad in that race. I mean, she was lucky to medal, to be honest. She was lucky to medal. The fact that she actually climbed back into second place is a testament to how good she is. But that start was so bad that she lost the race off the blocks. You know, the, the woman who won the race from, from St. Lucia, who is really an American, um, don't even get me started on that stuff because I, I, am, I, I have massive feelings about People who live in the United States, who came to school in the United States, who train in the United States, who use all the technology of the United States only to decide to run or compete for the country, for another country, whether it's even a country that they were even born in, because many people aren't even born in those countries. Um, I do believe this young woman was born in St. Lucia, but I, I <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things that drives me crazy because she actually went to school in the States. Like, you know, she's, I mean, let me be sure. I'm, I'm, I know she went to Texas. Um, you know, she went to the school in the States. She lives in the States. She trains in the States. She was born in St. Lucia, but she went to, she went to University of Texas and she lives in the U S and she trains here. And yo, congratulations to her. Cause that's dope as hell. You know, the, the, the first gold medalist for your country. That's awesome. It's an amazing, amazing accomplishment. But it's, it, it, just, it just drives me mad because she's literally being trained in the U.S. to beat Americans. Um, you know, obviously she's from St. Lucia. I get it. I get it. Trust me, I get it. There's plenty of people that are not from the countries that they're actually competing for, which is mind-blowing to me. But I, people usually compete do not – people who typically – it's easier to make – another country's Olympic team. That is like the, the, the U.S. Olympic team. So I understand it from that perspective. But you won the gold medal. She won gold medal. Like she won the gold. 
you know, Julian Alford won the gold medal. So clearly she was good enough to make the U.S. Olympic team. Again, I understand she grew up in, in, in St. Lucia. But again, she's lived in the States now for six years and trains in the States, lives here, trains here. It's like we it's like we set up athletes to train and beat us. I, I don't understand it. Um, I see it a lot. You know, like when I see the Puerto Rican, you know, athletes compete for Puerto Rico, but they were born in the U.S. And, and Puerto Rico's a, you know, part of the U.S. realistic. It's part of the U.S. So it's like, it, it, these things are crazy to me because, you know, if, if the one thing I can always, I can always talk about when I, when people talk about Usain, Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt trained in Jamaica. Usain Bolt was Jamaica. He trained, he lived the whole nine. It wasn't like he came to the States to train, you know? So, um, but congratulations to Julian Offord. It's very sad to see Shakari not not win that goal. I really thought she was going to get it. I mean, we haven't even heard her really comment yet. I haven't seen an interview with her yet on this. Um, and, being that, and being that she's not in the 200, I can't imagine she's feeling too great right now. Um, I do hope that she can get, get it recover and be ready to go with the four by one because we have to win the four by 100 i mean gotta win that um noah lyles holy crap man noah lyles i tell you what if there's ever a time that you can say talk about track technique track technique matters most basic of techniques for track and field you lean at the line you lean at the line because it's about your chest, not your face, not your foot. And the stuff that I've read online from certain people who don't have any knowledge of track and field, it's crazy to me. You don't know crap about track and field that you're talking about track and field. <clears throat> it is not your foot. It's not your nose. It's not your hand. It is your torso, your chest right here. This has to cross first. That's why you stretch out like this. And yet people are sitting here saying, this is the stupidest thing ever. Do you not think that Kashane Thompson knows the rules of track and field? Do you, th do you think he just didn't lean well enough? Because to the naked eye, I thought Kashane Thompson won. And then they show the replay. And like, oh my God, Noah Lyles got him. He got him in the final 10 meters because of that lean. I, I, that was... As good a race as we've seen in terms of the line of guys was all within 0.1 of each other. Um, blistering fast race. Now, it, it's not the fastest race because, I mean, the ones with Bolt and Gatling and those other guys were, you know, with, and, and Johan Blake were faster overall, but they weren't all that even. Like Bolt won clearly, you know, it was a clear winner. This one, I mean, realistically, you look at it. Shane Thompson, his foot was there first. Fred Curley's foot might have been there first. He death, his foot beat Noah Lyle's foot. But again, it's the chest. And if you look at the aerial above view of it, you thought Fred Curley may have won that race if you look at it from a still shot perspective. But Noah Lyle's, man, that dude's got so much pressure on him. He's got so much pressure, and one because of self self imposed pressure because he talks so much crap. But he's got so much pressure on him, and to go out there, lose, he lost. Let's let's be it real. He lost in the semifinal. He did not run well in the in in the in the initial prelim, the quarterfinal, whatever it was. Didn't run well. Well, he didn't. He ran well in the semi. He just ran a nine eight three, and he and he lost. But all that matters is that you win the final. And he won the final, and he's the first Olympic gold, you know, U.S. Olympic gold medals in the 100 meter in, in 20 years. Now he has a chance to do a double with the 200, and the 200 is a better event. I mean, I'd be shocked if he didn't win the 200. I, I would be shocked if he didn't win the 200. I'm, I'm hoping to see him break the world record in the 200. I want to see him break the world record because he has the ability to do it. It's a matter of putting the perfect race together. I mean, you can't make any mistakes. The guy is incredibly fast, and on the 200, he's just he's just ridiculous. His his top end is nuts. 
once he's going. But man, what a what a performance by Noah Lyles. That 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 was epic. That is when you'll never forget. Um but yeah, I am sad for Shikari. I'm excited for Noah Lyles. I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the 4x1, the 200, all these other uh, track events that are coming up this week. But yeah, what are, what are your thoughts on those two races? What were your thoughts on on, on how it went for Shikari, how it went for uh, Noah? And, you know, obviously, what's to come? Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and comment, and ring that bell. Come on now.